so the first step in the injury process is called hemostasis. And this is basically just saying that the body is trying to stop the bleeding by initiating blood clotting. Blood fills in gaps and clumps together platelets in order to form loose clots. These platelets then release little messengers that call upon inflammation to cells to the wounded tissue. So this would kind of be like a person calling for help like in an emergency situation, but this is within the body of course. Cells from skin, tissue, veins, arteries are all stimulated in the injured area in order to get rid of the harmful substances and fight off infection. Degeneration then occurs with the removal of dead cells. Once this dead tissue is removed, the healing process begins by repairing the remaining injured tissue. And tissue repair usually begins within 24 hours of the injury. Cells that are responsible for tissues multiply in number and secrete proteins that reform the framework and matrix for the injured cells. So next, the proliferation and migration phase occurs within two days after a skin wound or injury. Cells responsible for tissue move in from the skin as new blood vessels form. These cells multiply and establish a new network of veins and arteries that transport oxygen and nutrients of the healing tissue. Skin cells of the top layer move along the sides of the wound in order to help fill in tissue gaps. The removal of these uh, damaged tissue builds up in order to fill in the wound, and this is going to form the initial scar tissue. Damaged protein in the tissue also has to be removed before the new tissue components can then be used. Skin cells at the front part of the wound edge, travel across the tissue and forms new tissue that goes on the skin layer. And this process can take about, oh, several weeks or so. And finally, the remodeling and maturation phase of healing reduces the scar tissue and remodels it. And this is going to leave the tissue smoother, stronger, less dense, and also less red in color. Blood vessels in the area also reduce in number the scar tissue becomes more like your natural skin tone. The remodeling phase can take years as the skin first produces new fibers that break down and rearrange to withstand certain stresses. Over time, scar tissue grows stronger, relaxes, and lightens. So basically, new tissue forms healthy scar tissue.